that we get used to things, but we shouldn't. We get used to living in a rear flat and having no other view except the windows of the other flats. And because we don't have a view, we stop looking outside. We get used to putting up with so much. Once I was living in New York and the only place I could afford close to work was a shared studio. <laughs> Of course, I guess it was childish of me to think that I could live in Manhattan without making some kind of sacrifice, but when that lovely estate agent with the white teeth and a thousand keys told me I could have it a bit cheaper, I thought, wow, New York's nice. Even the estate agents are nicer over here. And I'd have my own studio with a cosy area and make my breakfast, have some storage for my books. But where was the toilet? I'm sorry, sweetheart. Unfortunately, this probably doesn't come with a toilet. There's a small showroom just inside that little unit over there. However, the good news, there's a public toilet just across the road. It only costs you a quarter. A quarter? Come on, it's just a quarter. But you'll have to bring your own toilet roll, my dear. So all my friends in the UK were like, Well done, Tasha. You're in New York. I'm so going to come visit you one day. Bitch, I bet she thinks she's better than us just because she's living in Manhattan. And I was that mad girl, <laughs> always avoiding bringing people home because I didn't have a toilet <laughs> and always praying that my relatives never found out. Yeah, it was difficult at first, but as you know, you get used to things. Yes, we get used to different ways of living. We get used to waiting all day, only to be told at the last minute, I can't make it. To smiling at other people without getting a smile back to walking on the street and to see signs. But there are adverts everywhere. Abercrombie & Fitch, Hollister, Gucci, Armani. And these adverts tell us that we should pay more for things that we know should cost less. And because they cost more, we have to work more to earn more money. Again, money to spend on these clothes that society tells us are worth more, but we know cost less. We get used to waking up in the morning frightened because it's time to go. I never have breakfast. Almost never. And if I do, it's in a rush because I'm always late. I've got used to eating anything and sometimes not eating at all because I have no time left for a proper lunch. And if the time is really short, let's say 15 minutes, how do you, how do you manage to do everything you're supposed to do on my lunch break? I mean, there's the fag, and then there's checking the car is still where I left it this morning, because you never know. We get used to pollution, to seeing rivers slowly dying. We've gotten used to not hearing birds anymore. Trees. I don't even have plants. What for? If I want to see something green, I'll go to the park or I'll open a book. I mean, I don't have time to be watering plants. You know, I once had one of these really boring ceramic vases you get from Marks and Spencer. With a silly little orchard in it. But, you know, it's the kind of gift people give you when, like, they don't want to think of anything more original to give to you on your birthday. What? For your information, it wasn't an orchid. It was a Pakira Aquatica. Eventually it died and I never replaced it. And there's the lottery to check. I may be a rich by now. And, uh, well, I need to call my landlord because the fucking boiler's broke again. I love plants. Um, I don't have any, but um, nonetheless. <laughs> um, I'm very practical with my time and I manage it quite well. So, when it comes to making the right decisions and getting my priorities right, I'm unbelievably good at it. Um, I'm very modern. You can find me on Facebook, MySpace, and Friends from United for a better Bangladesh. Um, I've got four blogs, and I'm really getting into this Twitter thing. I'm really loving that right now. Last Christmas, I decided to get rid of all the clutter in my life. So I got rid of my bicycle, my Sex and City box collection, and my front garden, all at the same time. If the job is hard, we comfort ourselves with the idea of the weekend ahead. And if on the weekend we don't have too much to do, we go to bed early and happy that we can catch up on these sleepless nights. We dream.
because the dog ate my mop. And that's only today's agenda for my lunch break. That's why I never have time to eat.